Good morning, everyone. Just wanted to do a real quick update on Robert because I'm getting ready to head out the door. Um, and I don't have a whole lot of time. My husband's on the way with the car. And I've got to drop him back off at work. And go do what I need to do. Pay bills and that sort of thing. And then um, go take him the car back. So it's going to be kind of a crazy day today. And plus I still got homeschooling to do with Elizabeth and all that. So I'm trying to get myself ready. But I just got off the phone. Excuse me for a minute. With Robert's nurse. And basically what the doctor feels and what I feel right now as well. Because I have discussed this with the doctor and the nurse. Is that. At this point in time, he just needs to get as much rest as possible. And the doctor wants to keep him sedated because his cranial pressure is still kind of rising at times. And um, like last night, his cranial pressure was at 14. This morning, it was at 17. So... It seems like when he gets bothered, he gets agitated, and um, his cranial pressure goes up. But everything else is holding steady. So everything else is looking good. And his cranial pressure is actually better. It's not in the 22s and 30s anymore like it was. So, um, you know, he just needs to rest I talked to them about um, just letting him stay under sedation and the doctor agrees and so does the nurse and everything that keep him under sedation, let him rest. Um, I'm not even going to go up there and visit him right now. So at this point, no visitors because it seems like all of that kind of either gets him excited or agitated or I don't know but whatever it is it's causing his cranial pressure to go up so the less that he's bothered the less I mean the, the better he will be in healing so right now at least for the next couple of days they're going to monitor him keep him sedated and like I said, I'm getting ready to go out. And this isn't even ready to do yet. Some of the areas are, but not all of it. Um, I'm exfoliating and toning and all of that this morning. Um, and I'm kind of in a hurry. So, again, he's just going to be under sedation. They're going to keep him rested, watch his cranial pressure. And um, hopefully, there we go, it'll lower over the next couple of days. Can you guys see this? See all this skin? Ooh! And believe it or not, I just used an exfoliating mask yesterday. One that I've never used before. And right after I did the exfoliating mask, I used my Two Minute Miracle. And I thought, well, you know, I'm just going to see. I'm going to see how well this exfoliating mask works. And right after I did it, I used my two-minute miracle, and I still got so much dead skin. It wasn't even funny. So this stuff is amazing, you guys. This stuff right here. And it's only $39.95. Jeez. For a month. That's all. I mean, it lasts me an entire month. And it's done wonders for my face. But anyway, that's not why I got on here. I got on here to update y'all about Robert. Hey, Rhonda K, this is one of the things I was telling you that I use. It's a 7-in-1, and it's only $39.95, babe. It exfoliates, it tones, it tightens, it moisturizes, the whole nine yards. Um, I don't know if y'all can see the skin that has come off my face. Well, this is a gel. It doesn't even have any abrasives in it. So it's not like any other exfoliator. But anyway, go back and watch the replay. I've updated on Robert. And I got to get done because 
my husband's on his way home. So I got to get my hair down and all of that. And I'll talk to y'all later. Love you guys.